Well, hello. It is in the evening after work, and uh, I thought I'd tackle something on this trailer that we talked about last time we took it out. We've only used it once, and one of the problems was there were no D-ring hooks to hook the side-by-side -side or motorcycles to. So, I'm gonna try to fix that today. I have a couple options I can go with. I can weld some D-ring hooks on there. I can do that, no problem. Or I can bolt some down on the wood. And I've debated which way I want to go. I probably should grind off this paint and weld some on, but I think I'm going to try just drilling some holes in the wood and putting these D-rings down in the wood and see if that suffices. If not, I'll pull them off and we'll weld them on. Okay, here's what I decided to do. I went down to Harbor Freight and I bought these half-inch cargo D-rings. They have really good reviews. People talk about how good they like them. And the gentleman I bought this trailer from actually told me and showed me his other trailer. He sold this one because he wanted a little longer one. He put D-ring um, hooks on his trailer and really liked it. So that's what his suggestion was. So I thought I'd give it a try. So anyway, I bought these, these at Harbor Freight. Then I went over to Home Depot and bought some carriage nuts. Those are two and a half inches. And then I bought an assortment of washers because I want to make sure these have some good support underneath this wood. So, about six. I'm going to put two up front and then two in the rear. And I think that'll work for the side by side and the motorcycles. We'll see. So, let's start with the ones up front. Okay, I think I want these front ones right up front here. I debated about putting them on an angle because most of the time that's the, the way it's going to be. But I think I might just put them right there. That way I have options. So I'm going to put one right there, put another one right here because that's where the side-by-side -side needed to hook into it. Last time we loaded the side-by-side -side, we had to come up underneath here and hook in there and I didn't like that. I don't like the straps coming across this metal. It'll break them off. So I'm going to put these ones up and go from there. These are 3 8 inch carrot bolts. I'm going to put a couple washers and then the lock nut washer on the bottom and hopefully that will give some good some good support on the bottom. These ones are a full two and a half. The others are just twos, I think. I 
as usual I'm trying to hold the bone with my left hand and work with my right but you need two hands usually okay so what I tried to do is go with the biggest washers I could so there's a lot of support in there so I'm going to tighten them up and then make sure these are placed where I want them fingers in the camera okay see how that looks up top that looks good that should work I might suck them down a little bit more by hand just to make sure but I think that'll work you can tie the motorcycle or the side-by-side -side or anything the only thing I worry about putting it in this wood is if like this channel that's holding the wood down is strong enough I might drill some holes through there and put some some bolts in those just to make sure you never know or I could put some through here anyway I'm gonna put a couple more of these in Okay, it's 100 degrees outside, so I was trying to hurry a bit. In the shade, it's not too bad, but in the sun, on the side of this garage, it's hot. This is what it looks like. I put these rears at an angle, so they angle in towards the back of the side-by-side. -side. Same with that one. And then the fronts, I just put normal, straight. So, that should work. This is the one that we probably will hook to for the front of the side to side. That's the motorcycles, motorcycle. So hopefully that'll give us some tie down points. And like I said, if I don't like them, I could theoretically drill a hole right there and use that as an anchor point. Or I've seen people weld those D-rings on here as well. I could always do that, but it's hot enough out here. I don't want to weld right now. So, that's it. That's how she turned out. Off to the next project.